undersized in terms of capacity. Its capacity for decibel level virtually unmatched. Like when Kenny Wheaton took back the pick. Legends like Mariota and LaMichael ran wild. Welcome to Eugene and Austin Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the fourth-ranked team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Ducks will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense will get the first possession of the game. And here he comes, and you may think that you can take a wide receiver out of the game plan, but Jesse, with this guy, he sort of believes, I'm him. I'm the dude. Yeah, and he gives defensive coordinators nightmares, too, I swear. When you watch this guy's highlight tape, man, he scares you to death with his speed. He can take the top off the defense. He can change the game, David, on any given play. And so how many different ways can I continue to give him touches? You know, they're, they're going to split him out wide. I'd hand him the football. I'd throw it to him quick. I'd throw it to him deep. This is a playmaker that will be featured. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Finds a tight end. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. Running it back, it's Johnson. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. The Ducks offense will go to work for the first time today. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, And that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Going up top. And he makes the catch inside the 25. What a nice throw there, just carving up the defense. You make these types of passes downfield, and it reminds me of Justin Herbert just carving up Arizona State for nearly five bills. Yeah, just making big plays in the passing game. This, this offense is built on the run. It always has been. It always will be. That's what the Ducks uh, hang their hat on. But making those explosive plays down the field when the defense slips up and loses a little bit of eye discipline. They get him on the ground with this running game imposing its will. Six-yard gain down to the 17. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. They'll run it. It's James. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3-0. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Danced his way through traffic, pick up a four to the 19. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. The Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Trying play action. Looking down the middle. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Defense were always trying to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Spins away from the defender. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense, too, right? There was a broken tackle. The guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up for him. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Johnson. Slips through the line. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They'll run it from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Now listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Snap from the gun on third down. Grab near the marker. It's Stewart. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Using his legs, it's James. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. To throw, it's Gabriel. 
It's complete to the right. And they knocked him down, but he got past the line of the game. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Everything seems to be working for this offense right now. If they keep this up, this could get ugly by the fourth quarter. The Ducks will snap it on first and ten. He'll ride his man on the option. Now the toss. And they just didn't get anybody on that defense out of position, and they will lose yardage on that one. You see, this is what great defenses do. Great defenses swarm to the football. So when you do miss a tackle, it's not the end of the world. There's another guy right there to wrap him up. Great defenses seem like they got 12 guys on the field. Nice job swarming to the football, engulfing the running back. Got a man. It's Ferguson. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, Dave? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. And the ball is free on the pitch. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. They'll leave it with the lone back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. You know, ones like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer wins. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Going to run it. It's Hayden. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones, D-linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. They just can't do it better. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. special teams play. That return man saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands and he darted to it and took it to the house. And Reese, I think it's one of the hardest things to do in football, to catch the ball as all these guys are flying around you and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Man, you just can't put a price on having a guy like that back there to return punts, and he turned that one into a touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. 
Going downfield for the big play. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. Second and ten here. To the air, it's Sanders. Good timing on the quick out. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. He wants to pass it on second down. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Bringing it back. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Ducks! Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route, and you make the play, and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I think a lot of times when offenses run these counters, you're going to fake one way, right? Pull guys the other direction. If you can get some penetration really quickly, get behind those pullers, you got a chance to get in the backfield just like right there and create a TFL. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Fast motion from the offense. They'll run it from the gun. Got room at the 35. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. He wants to take the top off. And he makes the catch inside the 25. Really nice timing on that throw. Quarterback had to hold it, allow his receiver to work his route, but he threw it at the perfect moment so that he was able to make the catch inbounds right on the sideline. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. 
He's right on target. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, create enough separation to create a positive game. Motion from the offense. On the ground, it's Hayden. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. That's exactly what happened. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. I know it's early, but you're down by a lot of points. You've got to go for it here on fourth down, David. I'm finding my best player offensively and giving him a shot. And what you said is all the difference in the world. I'm already down a lot early. i got to make some things happen. This is a situation to get a touchdown. I'm going for it. On the move. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Colorado! Big time touchdown there to get some much needed momentum. You gotta find something, right? Who are you gonna go to to make that big play to get you back into it? You're not back in it yet. It's not, it's not tied. You're not there yet, but you're starting to inch back into it and get some momentum going. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. They marched 78 yards down the field, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Looking for space. It's James. Crosses the 30. He's got away. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. The Ducks trying to win the day by running for another first down. Run the football. It's always been the state. We go back as far as you want with Oregon teams. The ones that were good, they were built on the running of the football. The physicalness. Run the ball, baby. Got it behind the line. It's Stewart. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. The defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Wrestled down at the 43 after getting five. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it. And the Ducks getting set on first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Scanning the field. It's Gabriel. Pressure coming. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. 
And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Ducks line up to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Quick strike complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Hunter. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. For wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers. And they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And they got him for the sack. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get him on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end. Slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it just a split second longer than they were able to get the sack. to throw and he needs a bunch a strike downfield and they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down well after that last play you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch if i'm on offense i'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game and the buffaloes are rolling down the field the play fake on first down wants to throw fires in the traffic intercepted and they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here two interceptions already in this game he's got to do a much better job with his decision the ducks ready to go back to work on offense Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You've got the lead. You've got the football. you got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. He wants to throw. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, it's second down. Back to throw, it's Gabriel trying to get to it. 
And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Offensive linemen are offensive linemen for a reason. They're not as fast as those guys on the edge. And you can see that defensive end came screaming off the edge, got to the quarterback before that O-lineman could do anything about it. Nice job of that defensive end. Scoop them sacks, baby. This is a third and long. Looking for room. It's James. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Well, there's just nowhere to go Number for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. As a result, they lose yardage. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the coverage team down there to touch the ball. No return on this play. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Nothing to kick. 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 So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Oh, and he drops it on the crossing route on first down. He knew that defense was bearing down on him. It'll be second down. You're not going to see that happen too often. The quarterback, man, he was licking his chops. He saw a big space in the middle of the field. He had his best receiver there ready to make a play, and he dropped it. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Wants to go up top. Getting some heat. He'll take a shot. And it's caught! Touchdown, Oregon! And a really nice job understanding I gotta get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. The quarterback empties his backfield. To the air. It's Sanders. Fires left. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. He was looking for a little more on that return, but he hands this offense a short field at the 35. for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks! Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened, because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. They'll see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner goes down. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. So late in the half, this is really enough. He's going to throw deep right side. Oh, and he gets.
Bucks downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Bucks! What a grab and go for the score. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're down 31-14. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. The lead is 17 as they try to fight their way back in. They'll need a stop on this possession, about to kick it off here. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. They intercepted. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB, making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. First down here for the offense. He's looking to throw it. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Shoots it to the left. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Throws to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And a confident throw and catch in there in the red zone at the 13. The offense burns its third and final timeout of the half. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Looking for the score. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. No tricks here. Looks as if they'll just run it out and take that lead into halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like you've had an enjoyable day there today in Eugene. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. 
And with that, let's send it back to the guys in Autzen Stadium. And the Buffaloes will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The Ducks keeping this defense off balance. They can hit them from a variety of angles, this time going up top. There's so many things to look at. You know, they've always traditionally gone fast as well in the past at Oregon, but, you know, the quarterback run and the run up the middle and then play action pass, they keep you guessing a lot, and they make a lot of plays down the field because your eyes are focused on something they shouldn't be focused on. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get him in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. To the air, it's Gabriel. Fires to the middle. Finds a man on the left. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. And here's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open, throw it out of bounds. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking for a crease, it's James. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On third down, going up top. Caught near the sideline, it's James. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this. Way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. Caught behind the line. It's holding. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. From the gun, the ground game. The Ducks have a first down. Well, it's an offense that prides himself on being physical. No mystery there. You need one yard, turn around, hand it off, let him go to work. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get this quarterback down. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. we got to figure something out. we got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. PAT unit on the field. Power for the extra 
The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put together an 81-yard drive and the finisher an 18-yard touchdown throw. And he's going to try to return this one. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Unloads to the wideout. On target over the middle. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Pulls it in. It's Hunter. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. There's a great saying in football. It's not the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Well, my Jimmy's better than your Joe. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. The Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. For the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve his field position. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football. And you saw it right there. Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. bit more to go after that last completion they'll try to pick it up on second down back to throw it's Gabriel fires to the middle it's caught they get him stopped at the five yard line but it will be first and goal from there yeah, listen I'm gonna move this guy everywhere he's in the slot this time but I'm not gonna let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him put him in the slot put him out wide either way find this guy early and often A first down run in the red zone. And he was fortunate to get that one back to the line of scrimmage at the five. No gain on the play. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He'll run it to the right looking for the goal line. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal-to-go situations, Palmer. you got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with it. Touchdown, Ducks! And the beatdown has ensued. This dude is revving his engine like that duck coming out on a motorcycle. He is putting up points and finding the promised land. And it's nice to have a guy that can do that. Goodness gracious, they just keep finding at Oregon as trigger men. Not only throw the football, but guys who can pick them up and put them down and make big plays. 
And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Got it in the middle, it's Hunter. And they swarm him under. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there, he's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked in what this defense is trying to do. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. It's complete, a huge pickup. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Touchdown, Colorado. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Back to pass, it's Sanders. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with some wear, a 73-yard touchdown pass. Trying to fight their way back into this thing, down 16 and about to kick off. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? The inside handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Blimmer making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. A third down try for the offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Looking deep down the right side. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Ducks will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. These guys scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Now a chance to really dig their way out of this hole. Yeah, and it's complimentary football, right? Offense doing their job, scoring, defense getting the stop. Offense has got the ball right back. Palmer, go back to that last drive, revisit it, 
rehash some of the same plays. Yeah, and if you're the quarterback here, think about where are my best matchups too. We're going to have to throw the football at some point here, so where do I want to take advantage of this defense and what areas of the field, and where are my best opportunities? The play-action fake. Finds his tight end. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. They'll leave it with him. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Trying to impose their will with the run. And you want to talk about game tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Looking to throw at Sanders. Coming after it. Stands in and takes the hit. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Normally, I would say fourth and short on your own side of the field, you punt the ball away, but we're in the fourth quarter, and they need to keep this drive going to win. I say go for it. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. The completion well past the sticks. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. And the Buffaloes are on the move. the play fake on first down the throw that is just a sideline credit throw catch toe drag everything you want and on that last play he's now over 400 yards passing well reese if you're going to throw for over 400 bills you got to spread the praise around up front they've done an outstanding job protecting this quarterback and his receivers have been winning one-on-one -on -one. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Wide out in motion. They keep attacking through the air grabbed in the backfield it's Russell they make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down one of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch if he's got any space around him he's able to burst he's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense you saw it right there well they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal Caught over the middle. It's hard. And they'll get him down inside the five, but this offense powering toward a score. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. He wants it all. Touchdown, Bucks! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them.
How about this? These guys are going for two. Looking downfield at Sanders. He's got it. Two-pointer is good, and now it's a one-score game here deep in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Coming out with it, it's Robinson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Give to the running back. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. Right down the middle. He's got it. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one. The tackle is finally made. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The defense is up against it now, man. You're playing on the road. It's a hostile environment. It's late in the game. Someone's got to step up and make a play. Nice job there knocking that one down for the incompletion. Second down after that incompletion. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Fires it incomplete. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. The Ducks will try to pin them back with the punt. Fair catch called for and made. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's got it on the left. The expressway is wide open. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under it and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. After the score, they need this two-point conversion to tie. Snap it to the back. He is denied. Stopped short of the goal line, trying to tie the game, and he will not get the two-point conversion. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. And how about this offense, man? Being able to succeed, still winning without their bell cow, without their star being their star. This offense has not had a great game on the ground, but they're still in the lead. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to pass. It's Gabriel. They're bringing heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. He makes a catch. Oh, what a move! A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel. Gets nailed, but is able to deliver a big completion for his offense. The Ducks will have it first and ten. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, i got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. Now on second down after the incompletion. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They'll give him four on that when it's third and six. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. It's third down, and they've got to get it to the 33. To the air, it's Gabriel. He's got an open man. All the way down to the 25-yard line, they move the sticks. It's first down. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. And the Ducks are flying down the field. Going up top on first down. Throws for the tight end. He got it! They will score! Touchdown, Oregon! The defense just lost track of him. There's no other explanation. I've got to assume they knew he was in an eligible position. Or it was just ridiculously good scheming on the offense, Reese. I mean, just an unbelievable job of getting your guy wide open. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. And they can't make the connection.
after the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect it's second and ten dropping back it's Sanders he lost one down the sideline and it goes through his hands oh he had an explosive play right there for the taking but couldn't reel it in you know, I feel for this offense, if they're going to get back in the game, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it with chunk plays. They're going to have to be methodical and generate some first downs and march down the field. Third and ten, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. He wants to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And that one was way too far for anybody to catch, except ticket holders. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Splits the uprights. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And here's the fifth interception by this quarterback. Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field. Stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here now. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. The ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Running back searching for a hole. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. 
And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. That field goal now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Back to pass. It's Sanders. Find space on the right. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. And it's another interception as his assault on the record book continues. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. It doesn't get any better for the defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet. It's getting pretty close. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And with the game all but decided, this quarterback will take a knee. 